Okay, the next project is called Be Wildebeest, and it's a couple coming from New Zealand. It's director Simon Price and uh, producer Georgina Allison Conda. A big warm welcome. It took them quite a long time to get here, so... 40 hours. 40 hours, wow. <laughs> Hi, I'm Georgina Conda. Uh, I'm the producer, and this is Simon Price, our writer and director, and our film is Be Will the Beast, a feature documentary based in New Zealand. It's a story of Pele, a little boy growing up on the far side of the world. He's approaching four, has a willful nature, thick blonde hair, and a contagious smile. Bewilderbeast. Tutu. Bewilderbeast is a celebration. It's a celebration of early childhood. And it's a very simple story. It follows the tiny moments, the tiny struggles that we all experience in our preschools, right up to the school gate. And it's universal. It's also very personal. Pale is my son. And this is a documentary. It's an evolving cinematic conversation between me and him, between a father and a son. Over the last year, we've been collecting a lot of research material in an effort to, through the development process, come to grips with the kind of story that we're telling about this world. So, so this is a film about chasing a tiny perspective on the world. It's about the construction of memory. And memory is something that's very interesting to me as an artist. I think memory really helps us work out who we are. My first memory is of a big dead rat lying on the bottom lawn of my parents' house. I'm three years old and I come around the corner of my house and there he is, this big dead rat. His eyes are shut, his little hands are sticking up rigor mortar style, his tongue's hanging out. And to me, he seems enormous. To me, now here as a grown man, he still seems enormous. So with this project, together with my son, I'm trying to capture and construct some of the most big, enormous moments of his preschool life. His emerging friendships, his fears, his joys, his everyday engagement with the world that races up to meet him. And as Pale becomes more conscious, he also becomes much more of an active participant in our story. There's nothing exceptional about Pale, but what is exceptional is the compelling and unique material. It's a big world told from an intimate perspective of a parent who is also a filmmaker. Simon has a strong background as a documentary maker. He's a um, video artist and also an award-winning feature film editor. I've been working um, producing and line producing predominantly feature films for the last 10 years, uh, several of which have been at the micro budget level. Because this is a documentary, we will have a lengthy post production period. We will start editing in the new year alongside our main shoot. Simon will split his time between the filming and the edit suite, where our film will continue to evolve. The editor is our key collaborator. We are very excited about this project and looking forward to bringing Palais' preschool journey to you all. Thank Grazie you. Mia. And thank you for having us here. Giacomo. Yeah, question for Simon. Since it's a very intimate film, um, I'd like you to ask, uh, what do you think it, it will be, what do you think you will experience by the end of the film, by the end of shooting the film, which will affect your family life and your perception of being a, a father or something else? Sure, sure. And, and uh, another thing about your obsession of filming. Yeah. Will you stop it? Will you recover? <laughs> what was the last bit, sorry? Obsession. Oh, the obsession. 
Yeah, I mean, I think there comes a point where you just you put the camera down. And I think one of the major aspects of uh, what we're doing inside our family house in far away New Zealand at the moment is we're playing. A central concept to this is play. So uh, my wife and my son, they tolerate me at times, they engage with me at times. Sometimes they're taking the camera off me and they're making their own movie for a second, you know. This is all part of an active playful, quite experimental process. And it's happening inside our house. And it will continue to happen inside our house, I think through the preschool perception until the school gate is the point where maybe that's an end for us, for this one. And maybe Palais will come back to the Biennale in 20 years and make a film about me and all the other footage that we've used as well, but we'll see. <laughs> Good, other questions? Anything else you would like to ask? How, how old is Pele now? Pele is nearly four. Nearly four. Mm. So that's why the arch is, is ready before he goes to Yeah, to that's school. right. Okay. Very good. Thank All you. All the best. Thank you. <laughs>